What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Loverfella, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. We are going to tame what I believe... Oh, yeah, we're going to tame a dire bear real quick. A 140 dire bear that he knocked out, and apparently he's going to give the food to me so that I can tame it and make it my baby, even though I won't be on to finish the job. That is pretty ridiculous. All right, guys, so I guess he collected the prime meat, collected the bear, knocked out and everything. So this might actually be a very quick tame because it's starving, so that means it's just going to eat all of it really, really quick. He said, just feed the poor thing. Thing, which is pretty funny. We start it to death. Taming efficiency is going down. I don't know what causes that to happen, like why it goes down when you eat something, but it's going down by a very small percentage. This is, oh, it wasn't started enough, he's saying. Does, did he, maybe he wanted it to eat like all of the meat at once. That might help the taming efficiency a little bit. Not 100% sure, but that's a pretty cool way to start this episode. Thank you, whoever tamed this guy. I think it was Luck, maybe. He invited me to come check it out. But yeah, looking awesome. So anyway, over the course of the next few days, there'll be a mixture of Planet Coaster and ARC videos. I think maybe like two ARC videos or something like that. I wish I could do more, but you know, like I said, it's just hard to... I'm dehydrated. Uh-oh, I better go run down to the water real quick. Get me some drinks. But it's just hard to do it every single day. At least for now. I'm going to be back to doing ARC every day after this. Maybe I'm going to throw in some rust, something like that. I don't really know. I don't really know what the plan is. But just want to talk to you guys about that real quick. Make sure you know. Take the Quetzal down. Don't even know where this came from. Can he not fly? Is he... Oh yeah, we're going to take him down, get a little drink from the water, and maybe not kill our Quetzal this time since I, you know, killed the last one we had. What is this? Oh, he's just down here. I thought there was a guy. Oh my gosh, is that our boat? We have a battleship? Oh man, we got a battleship, guys. Whoa. Let's check this guy out real quick. That is nice looking. Oh my gosh. This is looking good. You can't really get up to that second floor too well. That is a good looking pirate ship, man. We could put some cannons on this thing. Oh my gosh, even like the nice point. Model? Wait, model by Myth97? What's that mean? What is model by? Oh, oh, that's what these like triangular pieces are for. It's even got like the bow of the ship. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So talking to the tribe mates right now, someone said he wanted to rate us the other day in comments. I asked him to wait until I be online. Um, because I'm gonna be gone, like I said, for the next few days for Thanksgiving. And uh, I guess last night the tribe traded a couple really strong turtle eggs turtle eggs for a whole bunch of turrets. So we actually have a decent amount of turrets for a two time server. I know you can't really see it right now because of the um names everywhere. But what, we have, what, four or five turrets on this side, a couple more on the other side. Basically, we're surrounded by turrets now on our main base. And what do we have over here? A couple more turrets. I mean, it's not like a ridiculous amount. He might have traded them for like three turrets or something. But, you know, three turrets is better than none. Look how close this guy is to growing up. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Did he just grow up? Oh, my gosh. He just grew up right in front of us. He's done. Baby face is done. Oh, my gosh. Let's go get a saddle. I can't believe it. I was the one first one he saw. Real birds imprint on you like that. Like, imprinting is a real thing. That must mean that bird loves me more than anyone. Do we have... Where's our saddle thing? One primitive Quetzal saddle coming up because that's all we have right now. And it's really all we need. I've never seen a Quetzal actually fully grow like that. That is so awesome, man. He's loaded for food. Tell you guys another thing. I can't remember the last time I rode a Quetzal with just a regular Quetzal saddle. It feels really strange. Kind of like naked riding him. Like, this feels wrong. This feels wrong. But I love it. Now we can do some turtle raids. I'm sure the tribe's going to do some without me this weekend, and that's perfectly fine. Um, as long as we don't lose, you know, like, a lot of resources and stuff and die and everything. That is so cool. Have a freaking Quetzal now. Have two Quetzals and a third one growing up. Third one, actually, where is he? There he is. How much time does he have? He should be done by tonight, man. It's crazy how long it takes. And I guess I want to check out the breeding room, which we need to completely redesign. Turn into a storage room for birds. And, um, I just, you know, I think we need to make, like, an actual kind of, like, birdcage area for all the birds to go to. Okay, guys, so, welcome back. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Hope you are just making it the best that you possibly can, not wasting a moment. And today, I would like to show you, wait, 98% imprinting? Jeez, I've never had anything that high. That's pretty ridiculous. I want to show you a design that I'm making that many of you will most definitely hate, and a couple of you will probably like a lot. On this server, we have the S plus mod, which means doors automatically close, right? Doors will automatically close if you get into one. Doors will automatically open if you walk into it. That also means if an enemy were to walk into a door hoping to maybe steal something, they would be trapped. And they would be trapped. They would be trapped inside this uh, possibly metal building that baits them into it. Is that a great idea? I think it is a great idea, and that's why we're going to do it. Up here on this bridge, that way we don't catch too many noobs. I think this is a less ventured noob area. Although maybe we can't build up here since I can see there's clearly an enemy foundation right there. Maybe like right here. We are going to build a one by one shack that is going to have the sole purpose of collecting people inside. That way we come back and kill them and take whatever items is on them. 
So, first things first, we're gonna give it a nice glass shell. One-way glass. Should I make it one way, or should I just, like, completely block it out? I should completely block it out. We'll make it all opaque. That way no one can see in, no one can see out. That way he doesn't know if his friends are nearby, because we don't want that to happen, do we? So that looks pretty good like that. We're going to add a little door in the front, and we're going to add a little, little guy like that. So I want to change it to... We can do one-way glass. No, no, go back to the door. Come back to the door. Pick up glass door, unlock, auto-close only. So now we'll open the door. It's going to automatically close when people walk into it. So if I... Oh, look at that black thing that just appeared. I'll leave it like this. Watch this. We walk in. I'm not in the tribe. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. I'm trapped and I can't get out. What do I do? Boom. They're dead. We kill them. Collect what they have. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to take it up a few notches, though. Did I grab a roof? Dang it. I got to go back for a roof in a second. But first things first, we add a little sign outside that completely baits them in that will say something like, Do not enter... There is nothing for you inside. So people are going to read that, and it's actually true. There really truly is nothing inside for them. They're going to read that. They're going to be like, bull crap. There's totally something in for me. They're going to come in here. They're going to get it. And then people can't be mad at me for targeting people because I warned them. And they're just stupid enough to fall for it. So <laughs> we're going to go grab a roof real quick. Let's actually make this. Do, 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 do. One way glass A. One way glass B. Opaque. One way glass. Nope, nope, nope. Where is it? One my glass A, one my glass B, and opaque. Look in the vault. 17K narcotics. Oh, baby. We're going to get some good tames this weekend, which I'm excited about. But I want to make a couple one my things like that because a lot of people don't realize you can be trapped inside of it. And I think that's a completely fair way to catch people because I've been trapped like that on this server before. And no one came to save me except my own tribe after like an hour of trying to get out. And this was through a stone door. Can't imagine how long it would take to get out of a glass. Uh, like glass metal style thing there's probably a better way to do this um i could actually lie to them and bait them in a little better but i think we're just going to go with this for now kind of like set the trap come back in a few days see what people are doing this weekend okay i just made enough materials to make one more of these bad boys please tribe if you are watching this right now and you think it's a total awful thing to do it is accept it and that's what we're going to do we're probably going to make some enemies we're probably going to make a lot of enemies from this but if we catch someone good we could get some good blueprints who knows what we could get it's like going fishing you just never know and i think it's good to have them hidden if it's too obvious you're going to catch a lot of noobs in there you don't want the noobs or you're going to catch people that like know what the trick is people that watch these videos because somehow everyone on the server knows who i am oh yeah i did get ceilings i was like did i just go there and not even grab ceilings okay all we have to do is open it and walk away. The trap is set. The trap is set. Now, I do want to see. Is that door going to automatically close when I read the sign? I actually might want to move the sign. Let's pick up. Let's demolish. No. Should we demolish it? I don't want people to come up here, read the sign, and then have it close on them. Do not enter. There is nothing for you inside. Walk inside. Boom. Nothing. Okay, that's good. That's good. We'll keep it like that. I wanted to open on the inside though, so it's a little less hard, easy to see. So now we're going to make another one a little bit farther away. Um, I'm trying to figure out where we want to make it. Because this could, I mean, honestly, it could like be good at catching people that are trying to raid us or something. Although I think everyone who knows about us or wants to raid us already knows about our tribe. But it would be cool to have these just placed, you know, randomly around. They're going to be taming something. They get stuck in here. They either have to kill themselves to die. Hopefully they don't so we can just collect their body and let them go free. So we'll make another one right here. We'll just call them... You know, we'll just call them noob traps. I love that. You can glitch it right into the wall. That's what I love about this mod. Put it right up there. Put a little door here. Oh, wait. Are these S plus? Oh, this is an S plus. I'll have to get an S plus door up in here. We'll get a little chest placed down here. And we'll put this sign a little bit farther away, like right in the front. And it'll say something like, what, what can bait people in? Uh oh, the sign didn't go. Why does that happen? Do you guys have that issue sometimes where it just doesn't get placed? Okay, we'll bait them in here. We will call this one Walk Inside. I dare you. See, it's really... That's the best way to do it. You just got to straight up say what you want to do. People are going to fall for it. Got to go get a uh, S plus door. That way I can set it to auto close. Is this going to make us enemies? Is this going to make the whole server potentially hate us when they realize what this is? When other people on the server watch this video? Are they going to raid us? Yes. The answer is yes to all of those questions. Is it a terrible idea? Yes. The answer is yes. Um, would I want this done to me? Would I be mad if this was done to me? Yes. I would be extremely angry. I'd possibly quit the server. Um, maybe I wouldn't. I'm not really sure. But 
We're gonna catch some people. I guarantee it. I know this is gonna work. I'm pretty confident. Let's go ahead and build a door. We're gonna go with a reinforced stone door for this one, just kind of as an experiment, having never done this. I just like to see if people are willing to waste resources to blow out of it, because if they are, to rescue their friend, could be a decent way to kind of expose or like reduce if it's a small tribe using grenades of course like you have to use grenades on a low rate server when you're trying to raid um could be a way to reduce them from having a lot of materials kind of like um when you raid people sometimes you take resources so they don't have them maybe by putting this out there we could make growing tribes run a little bit out of resources just so they don't have quite as many for uh you know if they want to raid us i know that's a little bit overly cautious but it is what it is we're playing pvp auto close only Let's open that bad boy up. Nope, open up. Walk away. What's going on here? I thought I had it on auto close only. Walk inside, I dare you. Someone's gonna be like, okay, I'll walk inside. Boom, got him, just like that. It's like a fly trap. Close the door, keep it like that. Okay, this trap is now set and ready to go. We got two of them taken care of. I'm gonna add a lot more, I think, off camera so that people watching on the server don't know where they are. Even though you'll probably know what it is, I'll make one or two of them real. They'll be actual real buildings with real stuff inside that we're gonna use as like raid buildings, raid bases, stuff like that, if we get to that point. What do we have down here? Stonewall owner spooks. I'm pretty sure the spooks are people who tried to live on our mountain one day. We just said to them like, hey guys, you probably can't live up here. We have plans to basically colonize the entire mountain because we're gonna line this with behemoth gates all the way up here, get that cave blocked off. Don't want people to get access to it. What is this? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Just keep going behemoth gates, turret towers, behemoth gate, turret towers, all the way up to the top, making it super, super hard for titanosaurs to get up here for really anything to get up here if we have that much stuff, especially on a server like this. And I know I keep saying that, but that's because basically the whole time I played, I've had high rate servers. Oh, hey, fat stack. He's just our ally checking it out up here. What would be cool is then even after that to just have like the actual, actual base, like on top of these pillars, like build something up here. That'd be pretty awesome. That'd be ridiculously alpha and something that would be fun to do like in like a, um, I don't know, like a free mode, like do whatever you want kind of mode. So these bases, I'm hoping they'll draw the interest of people, hoping they'll confuse them a little bit and they'll be like, ooh, a wide open base with a chest. Let's get in there. So now I'm gonna go check on this bear because I don't want him to have to do all the work taming this guy because I mean, he already did knock it out completely by himself. How's he doing? He needs food in the inventory. Let's go ahead and collect some meat, help tame this guy real quick before I head off and head home on a super, super long drive. And I still gotta make lunch too, man. I am starving right now, I haven't eaten. I haven't eaten all day because I've been just recording all day. Recording, editing, uploading with my slow... What level are you? Come on, buddy. Level 10. Oh, yeah. With my slow internet speed, guys, you don't understand. It takes me like four hours sometimes to upload a single one of these ARC videos. So, like, on those days where maybe my video is not uploaded right away, maybe it's a little bit late. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen. Completely due to the fact that I might just miss the upload, forget to in the morning or something, or something goes wrong. It takes me the entire day then to re-upload it. I can't use any internet in my house because it takes all the bandwidth. So like if I'm uploading, literally no one in my apartment can use the internet. So I have to really strategize when I'm uploading. And it's difficult. It's not easy. It's not like I can just upload and boom, it's there. These things go on behind the scenes you guys don't really notice. And if you've never uploaded before yourself, it's not something you'd think about. And it's easy to get discouraged. And I think a lot of people that make videos, um, aspiring YouTubers, they give up completely because of things like that. Just these small annoyances that people don't realize are there. And um, I think the most important thing to remember when you're doing something, when you're following your dream, is that you never fail, no matter what, until you give up. Once you give up, that's when you've accepted defeat. Once you give up, you can't get better. You've extinguished that flame. You've extinguished any possibility of success. But if you keep going every day, even if you're not seeing results that you want, oh my gosh, you just lose all of his taming. Good Lord, I suck at this. Oh man, keep loading them up, baby. Keep loading them up. I'm going to put a little bit of raw meat in there so we don't lose the tame. Just like 30 or so. I mean, it's not the best, but at least we won't lose the tame completely. Maybe that's a terrible idea. I'm out of here. I don't want him to say that's a bad idea. Bye. <laughs> he just said what? Okay. But, like, the moment you give up is the moment you lose it. The moment you give up, your dream starts fading. Yeah, once your dinosaurs start starving again, it starts losing the taming, uh, like, the taming fill bar goes back down. Um, so make sure you keep meat in it. That's why I put the raw meat in there, if you were wondering on that choice. But don't give up, guys, unless you absolutely have to. Unless your dream changes, don't give up on that dream. Every day that I do these videos, I am chasing my dream of becoming a YouTuber one day. Like, a real big YouTuber. I think that'd be a crazy thing to do. That's just what I want, you know? That's my dream, not necessarily yours. But I'm not going to give up on it no matter what. Even even though some days, like, in the coming weeks, it's going to be extremely hard to make videos every day. It's going to be extremely hard because I have finals, projects, presentations, um, homework assignments. I have to find a new place to live. I have to find an, um, stuff for my new job I'm starting up next year. Like, crazy amounts of stuff I have to do. But I'm going to do my best to make a video every day because if it's your dream, 
if you really want to do that forever, if you just want to do it in general, you can't give up on it. And so if this is something you've done, you find yourself in a, in a state where you want to give up like a funk, like you just, you aren't feeling it anymore. There's a chance that it's either not your dream. And actually there's probably a big chance that it's no longer your dream. Maybe something else is your dream, something else that you don't know yet. And like I've said in other previous videos, the way to find that dream and figure out what it is that you're looking for is, I mean, I know this isn't possible if you're a little bit older and already have like a full-time job, but especially if you're in high school and like an age where you don't really know what you want yet, work a crappy job and every moment you're there, you will think about where you'd rather be. And in that process, you're going to realize, holy crap, I'd rather be making videos. I'd rather be whatever it is, playing sports, whatever it is. And then to avoid a life of sadness, you're going to go out there and you're going to do everything you can to get to that point. And um, that's kind of one of the things I preach a lot. It's like doing whatever you love doing, whatever you want to do. Like, it doesn't matter if people think that that's a great idea. It doesn't matter if they think being a I don't know, creative writer, engineer, whatever, if they think it's a great career path or great way to take your life, it matters if you like it, because if you like it, there's a good chance you're going to be successful with it. Even though, I mean, success really, what is success, right? Success isn't defined as money. Success is defined as happiness. So you find out what you're happy with, you're going to be successful. And in the end, even though the guy who went for money is going to be a little bit more rich, maybe we'll have a nice car. He's not going to be as happy as you. If he hates his job, if he loves his job, then he's probably going to be super happy and rich, which is a win-win. So, I mean, if you can find a hobby you like that also makes money and pays the bills, then you're killing it. And that's the dream. But, wow, 100 scorpion kibble. That's pretty wild. I've never actually really got too into kibble making. It's not something I've done too much. I don't know why. I'm just not a big kibble guy. I don't make a lot of kibble. I don't make a lot of recipes. But since I'm, I'm in the, like, the art of trapping, I like making traps. I like making like actual traps, bear traps, things like that. Maybe I should start making those recipes and like plant them in places where people would take them and oh my goodness, we got a lot of prime meat now. Put them in places where um, people would take those recipes and potentially kill themselves. I think it'd be cool if you could make a recipe that would like spread disease throughout a tribe. Like you could make a recipe, plant it in someone's base, they see it and like, oh, let's make this guy. And they feed it to their dinosaur and it actually starts killing dinos. I think that would be pretty crazy. So we can tame eight level max level rexes with that scorpion kibble. Didn't know that's what scorpion kibble did, but that's pretty crazy. Now, for the next video I record, it's not going to be for a few days, so all of this is going to change drastically, I imagine, since we have a huge tribe right now. And um, assuming the Bronto is not built on, I'm probably going to try to do some kind of cool d design on the Bronto, because I'm really happy with how my mobile oppression palace turned out over here. He's kind of just protecting the Spinos a little bit. I'm just, I don't know, I love it. I love that build so freaking much. You can almost not even tell that there's a dinosaur there if I can squeeze in through here. Like, you almost can't tell. You might think that's a building looking at it. You see his butt and tail coming through, but he's so protected. That's so good for raids. I don't want to do something interesting for this guy. So that might be something I'll work on in the future. But for now, we just worked on some uh, ridiculously annoying small bases. So thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. Hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. Hope you guys are having a great day. Make sure you find out what that dream is and never give up. Because if you don't give up, you can't fail. I love you guys, and I will see you all tomorrow.